am your local air raid precautions air raid warden and it is my job to ensure that everybody is safe in an air raid. Today I'm going to be showing you what I've got in my pockets. So these trouser pockets I'm going to be starting off with. The trousers were copied from the military 1937 pattern design. Um, and in my pockets I've got a variety of useful items, although we wouldn't have what the military would have. We've still got lots of things we might need. Firstly, I've got my handkerchief. It gets very cold at night, so this is very useful for blowing my nose. I've also got my lighter and my cigarettes. I smoke, so that keeps me very busy um, in the day and night, so it's nothing to do, really. In my left-hand pocket, I carry some fruit pastels. Again, they give me some nice energy, something to eat, and something to keep me busy. Um, it gets very lonely when fire-watching and doing other such duties, especially if there's not a raid. In my left-hand pocket, I also carry my ARP pen knife, or clasp knife, as you will. And this was privately purchased, um, all sorts of useful uh, items attached to this. You've got the knife, your Marlon spike, really handy for rescues or anything I might require it for. In my front trouser pocket, this is where the army would have kept their maps. But we don't have maps in the ARP, but instead we have books and other sort of interesting things we might need. So firstly, everybody's pocket companion. This is a very, very handy guide. Everything from geography to history to English to maths to science and to general knowledge. Absolutely full of 120 pages of useful things in there. And really that just keeps me busy. Something else to read to brush up on my general knowledge. Also in the front left pocket, I carry a Kit, Pat, Kit Kat. Three pence. Very cheap, I think. And again, I know what you're thinking, fruit pastels and Kit Kat. But it does keep me busy and it's something nice to eat. Got my respirator spectacles as well. These are army issue. These are incredibly handy. The arms, if you can see, the arms are very thin. So when wearing them with your respirator, you can make sure the gas mask is nice and tight to your skin. Um, rather than the ordinary pair where the arms are actually round and they would make they would allow the gas in if there was an attack so the army issue special respirator spectacles are incredibly handy got lots of loose change as well shillings farthings sixpences and pennies again anything i need to buy i can do so with the money and that's the front pocket. In the right hand, smaller pocket, this is where the army and the ARP carry their first field dressings. So that is useful. If I see anybody wounded and I can't get to a first aid post, then I can use this wound um, dressing on them or myself if I need to. And we're sort of all basic trained in first aid, so I can apply that very easily. In going up to my tunic, you might see I have this yellow armband uh, lanyard. The lanyard is a special civil defence lanyard, and attached to it is my civil defence ARP whistle. These were first introduced in 1938, and they're very handy for air raid attacks or warnings, so I can blow it for short for an incendiary bomb, or longer blasts if there's an air raid attack imminent. So again, very useful piece of ARP equipment. In this pocket I also keep my Air Raid Warden's appointment card. In there it shows that I am a warden, I'm fully trained being a warden, so people know if I'm going into bond out buildings, people know I'm not just stealing, and instead I'm an Air Raid Warden on duty. In my right hand pocket I keep my incident form book. In here I can write down anything that I see if there are air raid attacks. This would include collapsed buildings or burst water pipes or anything like that. I can write down exactly what's happened if there are any casualties. I can pass this to the messenger and he'll relay that back to the ARP post 
and from there they can send out the specialist light rescue or heavy rescue or first aid party, anybody who might be of need in the troublesome times. And I also carry my fountain pen for writing in the book. Now the inside of this tunic also has two very useful pockets. In the left I keep this Air Raid Precautions Handbook number one. This is about the personal protection against gas, um, first published 1938. So although I would have read this uh, when I did my training, it's very handy to keep so I can reread and ensure I know exactly what to do if we do have a gas attack. In there it covers all sorts of things about caring for respirators, cleaning surfaces, um, all sorts of general information how to treat gas wounds as well. In the front I also keep a picture of myself when I first joined the ARP. There you can see the first piece of issued kit, the helmet with the W stamp on the front, that stands for Warden, as well as my respirator and uh, the civil duty respirator and bag. That was obviously the first kit that was introduced before we had the uniform. In the right hand pocket I carry my wallet. Obviously it's full of my money so I have the shilling notes and pound notes. They're very hard to get hold of. And also have pictures of my loved ones as well so I can look back at them. Um, and I don't have my ration book in here. My mother has got that between me and you so she can buy all our necessary food. But I also have my national registration identity card. In there it's got my number, my name, my address, but I also have an extra fold out piece on the inside because I'm part of the civil defence. That means we have a holder's description um, as well as another um, form of identification to say that we are wardens. So that shows I'm also in the civil defence as well as the appointment card. That is everything I have in my pockets.